I will dwell in his house forever. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. I'm back with another word. And today's word is based on a dream that I had a couple nights ago. And give me one second. Let me turn the music down. So, like I was saying that this word is based on a dream that I had a couple nights ago. And in this dream, I was kind of like graduating from the Marines or graduating from some type of army branch. And uh, I was graduating, like I was like, I, it wasn't like a graduation, but I can tell like I finished something because in front of me was standing was like the whole like, like my uh was like an like a whole army or a, um just like yeah so standing in front of me was like a whole army full of men and the sergeant was standing in front of him and as I was walking up I was also in like um I was also in army clothes and I had a plate uh, and on the plate was a raw piece of steak okay. And as I was walking towards the army, the, the general or the commander or however you say it, he was, um, he was proud of me. He was like, well done. He was saying something to that extent, like, well done, you did it. It's, it, you know what I mean? Like, congratulations. And like I said, on my, on my plate, I had a raw piece of steak. And then I woke up. So, um, like I always do, I took it to God. And I, uh, I was seeking him and I was in his presence and he began to speak to me on the dream. And before we get into the word, we are going to say a prayer. <sighs> Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this day, Father God. We thank you for everything that you do for us, Father God, on a daily basis that we don't see, Father God. We thank you for your wisdom, Father God, your strength and your love and your grace and your mercy, Father God, is everlasting, Lord God. We thank you for your Holy Spirit, Father God. And I ask that you make me decrease, Father God, so that you can increase in me, Father God. Let this message be none of me, Father God, and all of you. And in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, y'all. So... Um, so when I began to pray to God and ask him about the dream, so basically, basically, so what Holy Spirit is saying to someone right now is that the Lord of heaven's armies has accepted your sacrifice. It's only a matter of time. Okay. Your sacrifice shows God that you refuse to surrender to the enemy. Okay. Your sacrifice shows that you are you are, what's the word, like, you look forward to fighting with the enemy. Not like that, you look forward to, like, when an obstacle comes your way or when something tries to stop you, you look forward to facing whatever it is, okay? You look forward to it, okay? You, you are at a point where you are not afraid of the devil, okay? You know your authority through Christ, and you know that you are a warrior in Christ, okay? And what God is saying to you right now is that your sacrifice has been approved, okay? Your sacrifice has been accepted. God has accepted your sacrifice, okay? And whatever you have sacrificed, um, whether it may be... Uh, certain habits that you used to do maybe you sacrificed a job maybe you sacrificed um time away from your family whatever it is you did it in the name of god you did it because you were being i'm sorry y'all i keep looking at this part and i keep looking at the camera so bear with me you have been i always say it just keeps tying into the message of obedience you have been obedient and for the most part 
sometimes sacrifice and obedience can come hand in hand. And God is saying right now is that I accepted it. Okay. And um, the scripture that he gave me is that, okay. And also when I was waking up from that dream, I heard like a, um, I heard like a sound of a motor of, of a motorcycle in my head. Okay. So, um, I wrote in my notes, I said, heard a motorcycle. So I read, I saw, so I, um, I looked up like, um, meanings behind like visions of motorcycles or having a dream of a motorcycle. And, um, it wasn't really a dream. It was more of like, I heard it in my head, but I felt like it was very prophetic to what God wanted me to deliver today. And when I looked up, um, things about motorcycles. It says, when thinking about motorcycles, the first idea that comes to mind is freedom. Okay? You. God has snatched you out of the hands of the enemy. Okay? You have been snatched out the snares of the fowler. Okay? And Holy Spirit right now is saying that your sacrifice that you gave to the Lord has made you free, okay? And it says, a motorcycle is a type of vehicle that represents idolization, okay? And I had to look up the word idolization. And essentially, idolization assumes your, your spouse or whoever you trust in is perfect and will never hurt or disappoint you. It also assumes your spouse or whoever you giving your... Um, Whatever you're surrendering all your emotions, wants, and needs to, it says we'll always do what is best for you in all circumstances. Okay? God is trying to tell somebody right now is that this whole year, I was never, I never abandoned you. I, I never intended to hurt you. Okay? I wasn't even punishing you. I was pruning and refining you. Okay? So that when you do produce this new wine, so when I do make new wine out of you, it's going to correspond to the new year that we are going into. Okay? And, um, and motorcycles also represent willingness. Okay? And I had to look up the definition of willingness. Okay? And it says, willingness is the quality or state of being prepared to do something. Readiness, okay? And remember, like I was saying in the beginning, um, that you are ready to go into battle with the enemy, okay? You wake up ready to go, okay? You wake up, say your prayers, and you are ready to defeat any obstacles that the enemy may try to throw in your, in your, in your path, Okay? And um, I do not want to bring this up, but Holy Spirit has put this on my heart to speak about. But um, when God gave me this dream, um, I immediately saw the numbers 333, okay? And I said, I have said this repeatedly, okay, in videos. I do not mess with angel numbers, okay? I do not idolize over angel numbers and that is the reason why i didn't want to bring it up because i don't want you guys to um i don't want you guys to praise angel numbers i don't want you guys to seek angel numbers okay if god gives you if god wants to speak to you through a certain number make sure you pray and make sure that that is from god and when you do see a number Go to scripture, okay? Put that number in the Bible, okay? Don't just randomly Google what 333 means because Google's going to say angel number 333. Well, it's going to tell you whatever, okay? Something like you're spiritually inclined, you're spiritually in tune, something of that nature, okay? That's not what we do here, okay? God will speak to you through numbers, but you have to take the initiative to really dig into depth of what that means, okay? So whenever I see a number, I will... I will research the hebrew version of it okay because the first original bible was written in greek hebrew okay and uh 
when I looked up what three through three meant in Hebrew, it meant adder, okay? And when I looked up what the word adder meant, hold on, y'all. So when I looked up what the word adder meant, hold on, I have to look it up right now. I'm sorry, you guys. Okay, so 333. Three, three. So I looked it up. What 333 three, three meant in Hebrew or in Greek, it means adder, okay? And what adder means is to send, to deliver, okay? Your sacrifice is going to deliver you from whatever you need to be delivered from, okay? Your sacrifice is going to bring you out of your wilderness, okay? Your sacrifice has brought you out the wilderness if it hasn't already did, okay? And for those of you who haven't yet sacrificed to the Lord, this is a message to tell you that it's time to give your sacrifice to the Lord so he can deliver you from your wilderness, okay? And, um... It was all... Okay, so also, the scripture that the Lord gave to me, okay... It's from Deut Deuteronomy 33, verse 3, okay? And it says, Indeed, he loves his people. All his holy ones are in his hands, okay? They follow in his steps and accept his teaching, okay? You have been following the Lord and you have been accepting what he has been telling you, okay? You have been set accepting what the Bible says about who you are, okay? You have accepted the power that works within you. And for that, God has accepted your sacrifice. Amen. And um like I said, so if um so if you guys have been seeing 333, this may be your confirmation as well. And uh like I said, don't we don't glorify angel numbers here. So if I ever speak on a number, that is because God really wants me to talk about that. Okay? And, um, yeah, so this is the word for the day. And if you made it to the end, go ahead, like, share, comment, subscribe. And I will catch you guys for the next video.